Hello everyone, this is Mr. Moore and welcome back to Natural Disasters. Today we're going to look at Module 2. Okay, so Module 2 is using another Web 2.0 application, Time Toast, in order to create a timeline. Um, and when you're on the page, just, you should be looking at um, what I'm looking at. But you can see that we have a YouTube tutorial by clicking here. Uh, go ahead and click, or I hope you already did click here, and you're probably going to see where we're at. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to click on timetoast.com. And you're going to register using your GAF account, which is Google Accounts for Education, which is your name, dot, last name, dot, a few numbers at sdjccs.net. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create your own account. Now, now here's the thing: is is a lot of students in the past have said, "Hey, Mr. Moore, check this out. That's either Basic or Pro. There's no free one. There is, but they've hidden it. And so, in order for us to find it, we have to analyze the page and take a look and see what we got here. And you can see here they have one with no premium features, and that's okay because we don't need premium features. We just want to get signed up. So, in this particular section, what you're going to want to do is choose a username. Now, you can use your sign on for your username, your first name, dot last name, dot the numbers, or you can create your own username. Uh, whichever one's fine for you is fine for us. Uh, your email, though, does have to be the email address that I provided for you, and the password should be the same, which I believe is your eight digit birthday. Uh, so, once you've created this, since I already have an account, um, I'm not going to do this particular section of it, but once you've already done this, uh, agree to the terms and conditions, create your account, and they're going to send you an email. In your inbox, you're going to see an email from Time Toast in order to verify your account. So make sure that you do that. So you're going to go here, create your account, and down here on the left-hand side, you should see your Gmail, which will eventually open up and look like this, and go ahead and verify it, and then it'll bring you directly back in here. Um, I'm going to sign into mine right now, and when I get back, we will All right, welcome back. So. I've got my information in there. I've got my password in there. Here we go. Uh, so now that we're in here, we can see here that I've created two timelines. I've created a civil rights one and I've started one for natural disasters. But in this particular case, I'm going to briefly go over um, the assignment with you. Now, if we go back to Haiku, and remember, we can toggle between Haiku and our timeline. Um, but basically, what you want to do is make sure that you know and you have the directions of what you need to do. Uh, so read these directions because you're going to have to create five natural disasters that have occurred in the past 114 years. Each needs to have at least three facts. Okay, I have an example there. Hurricane Katrina caused $81 billion in damage. That's one fact, um, but it needs to be a complete sentence and it needs to stay within the exact disaster that you're using at that time. And a photo. So let's get over here in the timeline. We're going to add a new timeline. And we're going to name it. Okay, now you can name this whatever that you'd like to, whatever you'd like to name it. Um, so if you're doing natural disasters, we can just easily name it natural disasters. Make sure you capitalize your stuff there. Um, but you can name it my timeline. You can name it Jorge's timeline, Jessica's timeline, uh, whatever it is that you'd like to name it. You can name it. I don't have a problem with that. Your timeline should have an image though. So when you click here, um, these are images that I have already uploaded. Okay, if you want new images, you're going to have to go back to a page, okay, whichever page you would like, go to Google, and let's say we're looking for a 1906 earthquake, and we're going to hit images. Now, unfortunately for you guys, if you're using the Chromebooks, you don't have the option to right click. It only has a one click, but what you do is, is, you, is you use two fingers and you click with two fingers at the same exact time over the picture. So you use two fingers, you click with both fingers, and it'll catch it, and it'll bring up the exact same thing here. It'll bring up a, a right-click option menu for you, and what you're going to do is save image as. Okay, once again, this screen's going to look a little different for you. Um, it's going to say save to Google Drive here, or it'll say to your, um, to your downloads, and you can do either one. Um, for this case, I think you should just do it for your downloads. Uh, down here it'll tell you to name it. Uh, it'll be highlighted in blue just like this is. You can click delete and you can name it whatever you want. Okay, And then save it. I'm not going to go through that. I think you guys should be just fine on that. Once you have saved it, when you get back into your your Time Toast timeline, what you're going to do is you're going to click upload image again. 
okay when you click upload image it will automatically show up right here okay it'll show up here um, where all my pictures currently are and you can pick the picture that you wanted and you can click done okay so now you have an image and sometimes it might take a little time for the image to show up so just don't worry about it it'll tell you here uh, it's taking a few moments to process just go just move on and now that we have a timeline that is completely blank um, what we're going to do is add an event and the title of my event this is one of your five natural disasters and I'm only doing one um, but we're going to put 1906 San Francisco earthquake okay so that's the first one that I'm going to use hey but take a look though I'm going to have to change this to 1906 because we want these dates to be correct but I don't know off the top of my head to correct the exact date so if I come back here where I googled it and I go to and I go to web okay I can find out or hope to find out exactly what day it was struck on so here we go Wednesday April 18th 1906 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the 18th April and make sure these are um, correct okay because you want to um, you want to make sure that you get full credit and each one of these has to be accurate once again you're gonna to want to choose an image for each individual disaster that you choose I already have some pictures uploaded I already told you you can do um, the same thing that I did um, and in order to upload new images um, you're gonna to have to right click them or use two fingers to click and that'll give you the option to save them okay so now if we go back to Wikipedia or some other source that you trust um, we can see that we're gonna get facts here okay devastating fires broke out about 3,000 people died over 80 percent of San Francisco was destroyed those are all facts okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my timeline and I can put a, a slash there and over 3,000 people died okay and then I can hit enter and I can hit another uh, dash mark there and that's just to separate them now you guys are gonna do three facts each one picture for five different natural disasters okay for brevity and to keep this short I'm gonna continue with just one fact so create event and there you have it we have it here at 1906 but if you wanted to add the event you would click another one here and you would continue on with the same exact same thing that we just did um, using different natural disasters and you're going to be able to research those disasters just by using the internet or any other of your web browsers that you want to use in order to, to do that um, so once we get back into haiku we can see uh, what we want to do is read and make sure that we have all these things taken care of so um, we have completed the assignment copy and paste the link to Google Doc and we also want to make this public okay so let's go back and make sure that we're doing that uh, so next step once you're done completing all five of your uh, disasters you're going to want to go to view timeline and we're going to come back to edit timeline once you've viewed it you're going to want to change this from draft to public so it scoots right over to public and once again then we're going to go back to view timeline now what public does is allows anybody who's on the web to view this timeline okay and the reason why I need this is for me to see it um, so the next thing you're going to do is when you're complete you're going to want to turn this in so this gets a little tricky but just stay with us here and you'll be just fine so what we're going to do is we're going to highlight this link this link is a public link to anybody who can find it and we're going to copy it or cut it either one is fine we're going to get back into the drive Google Drive we are going to create a document we are going to control V at the same time and that is going to paste the link directly onto an untitled document which now you are going to title once again you can put your name timeline natural disasters timeline hit OK now we've created a document in the drive that we're going to turn into haiku so what we would do is we would go to haiku once this is all done once again we, we jumped a couple steps here in the assignment but that's okay connect Dropbox 
find the timeline, time toast timeline here. Okay, my screen's a little bit different, but on the right hand side, on the right hand side, it's going to say hand in, and you're going to click hand in, you're going to upload Google Doc, and you're going to choose this document here that you just that you just uploaded or that you just created and so I'll get this this is exactly what I'm gonna look at when I view your assignment and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just basically go to this link open link and as you can see this takes me directly back to what I just created okay so that's what I want you guys to do also make sure that when you're here um, in your module uh, for the timeline, uh, make sure that you are um, doing your your discussion posts. Okay, you also have a quiz here on the right hand side. Okay, how prepared are you? And you also have a poll. This quiz is pretty easy. What you're going to do is you're going to click on it here. You're going to scroll down. What would you do during each of these natural disasters? you are having an earthquake and you are laying in bed what is the best choice I'm just randomly picking one and you continue to basically do this right you're gonna you're gonna take the test and after you answer all eight questions can okay, I'm just kinda of buzzing through these here what I'm gonna want you to do is once again I want you to take this information. I want you to take your results. Oh, and I got a 13%. That's terrible. One out of eight. I want you to take these results, and you can do it just like this. Okay, just copy. Okay, copy. And you can even and paste it on a new document. Don't paste it on this one. Control V. Okay, and there you go. Okay, so paste it on a new document again. Label it your quiz. Okay, module two quiz, and upload that once again into Haiku under where the quiz is at. So let's go to the Dropbox. So there's two different assignments in Module 2 and you can see your Squid Quiz Completion and that's where you're gonna drop you're gonna drop off your brand new Google document that you created and that you cut and paste either the link or your score for that particular uh, for that particular assignment. So if you have any questions please email me or come find me in the classroom or give us a call at the classroom and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Uh, good luck with everything and I hope you do well on the assignment. Goodbye.